Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I wanted to show you what I have going on right now as I found this gorgeous paper and I wanted to make some small envelopes for our savings challenges. So these are going to be for my big long-term savings challenge box, um, which I have here. So it's a poke dot. I thought it was cute. And then what I'm gonna do is do a long-term which my long term here is going to be for a down payment for my home and it's going to be quite aggressive. So I'll share a bit more about that later. And then I'm gonna break this side in half and then we're gonna do one for children as I do wanna become a mom. And then this one is going to be your savings here children and then this will be down payment on a home. And if you wanna learn more about me and what money I've been making um, stay tuned till the end because I'll share a bit more about me and what I have going on. But as far as the savings challenge box, if you're interested in this kind of box setup, I am going to sell these. So if you want to pre-order one, just go ahead and email the email on the screen. I'll also leave it in the description. I haven't set up an Etsy or anything because I just want to see if people want this kind of a box, but I am looking for other types of boxes. I'm thinking of sectioning off with like a white cardboard piece here and a white cardboard piece here. And this is gorgeous paper. This paper set is going to be used for the down payment in my home. Right now this actually nicely had a few sheets cut up in the square, so I'm going to use this because some of the other sheets here do, are not in squares. And some of them have this like gorgeous gold kind of not foil but you get the gist it's gorgeous so um since the home one is huge i'm going to be trying to save 200,000. so that one's a doozy that one's going to take a few years <laughs> so um anyway thought this would be a nice set for the home ones and i'm getting a laminator tomorrow as well as laminating sheets and how this is going to work is I'm going to laminate it and cut it so it has a little bit of an opening. And then it's going to just slide in the envelope. I might laminate the insides, maybe, but we'll see. I think we'll just do that. It's going to sit in the box like so. This is a little bit deeper. Like I said, I'm searching for other boxes, but I like these because it has a little decoration let me see what the, I have a Chanel box here. I just wanted to see. It might be a kind of a fun addition. Hmm, so it kind of sticks out. That's not going to work. Yeah, I think that's too. Yep, I'll squish it. So that's not going to work. Well, you can see this Excel sheet full of numbers. And I was trying to figure out what quantities I would need to put in. You know, I wanted like a little sticker on here or something. I'm showing what amount needs to actually, you know what, $8,000 is not going to go in here. Actually, they make $1,000 bills now, so maybe it could work. These are very aggressive. We'll see, I do need to pick up some more client work. We'll see how that goes, but um, anyway, so I was trying to figure out what amounts need to go on these, so that's why I have this Excel. So I think this column G will go on these since I do want 200k for a down payment. So for future kiddos, I think column D will work. And then, what do I have? On oh, savings. I think column E would be cool for savings, although my... Mm, and this is separate from my other savings. You know, I think I'm gonna do... I don't know, this is kinda crazy. Mm, column G for home for savings, and then D for future kiddos. Mm. Yeah. That's a lot. I know this sounds aggressive, but a little bit about me. Let's go to a little bit about me. I used to be a waitress back in my day. Retail. Sorry, sloppy writing. I've worked in fast food before. After these types of jobs, I wanted to get into marketing, so I started off doing social media management for several brands. Um, 
I also ended up taking a full-time job, but I wanted to get more money so that I would have things on the side. Eventually started doing more influencer marketing. This shifted into sales, so I was actually getting commission off of the sales I would make. So sometimes it'd be lower salary, but like higher commission for instance. So that's where I really ended up in the last three years in D2C sales, which would be sales to an e-commerce store. Sorry. Sales to e-commerce. What I ended up in the last few years making was roughly 15k to 20k per month. Except for I did get excited about having this amount of money, took vacations, decided whatever car I wanted. I was spending money and I don't know if I regret it because life is for experiences and journeys and right now my journey is to take it back a step and actually budget for the things that I want. So while I did not save that much out of this 15 to 20k a month, the point is is that I'm doing it now and that's where I'm at with the season in life. So I know that some of you might be like, what the F? Like I can do a lot with 15 to 20k. And a lot of people are way better with their money and I think that this having this channel and doing this journey will help me see the money get to my goals and I had fun, but it's time to get serious because what happened here was a few months ago, my position, because it was in sales and because of a few other factors, it, the position I was in was eliminated. So I am not making this at all anymore. Um, that job, I was really tired. I got exhausted. I was putting all of my soul into that job. I was working nights, weekends when nobody told me to, but just because I wanted to try to get more sales in. Um, it was definitely, it's been a journey the last two months for me to try to get it out of that zone because I was so dedicated to that job. Um, after that job, I was pretty lucky. I had like four to five clients lined up. Um, but I realized that I was so burnt out from this job and that I just couldn't do it with these new clients. So I had to tell some of them that I needed a mental health break and that our my little boutique agency needed that health break. And some of them needed to go find other solutions to fill their programming for their marketing. So a lot of these are not continuing and that's totally understandable, but I had to do what I needed to do for my mental health. I tried to push through, but I was just so worn out from this situation over here so right now i am not making this i do intend on trying to get back up here i think if i have four to five clients i will be back to 15 to 20k a month and i'm very very lucky that i have that option um, it is a little bit of a grind you have to try to get clients people don't sign on right away or anything and some people only have you know like 2k a month budgets for marketing so then I would need more clients but then I need more help so we'll see where it goes but um I am very lucky that I have this option I think a lot of people are able to get there and perhaps I can share more on my channel about that but right now I've been selling things so furniture clothes if you want to see what clothes I'm buying. I wash them on cold, on gentle, and then I steam the clothes that need to be steamed. So those are on Mercari and Poshmark. I'm actually having a lot of fun with it, to be honest. It's so nice to take a step back from the computer. I was on my computer literally 14 to 16 hours a day. So I'm not even jo joking. I had no life. <laughs> I had no life when I was getting this much a month. So sometimes there's a price to pay. However, in this season of life, I'm taking it back and I'm also trying to figure out how to make passive income just so I'm not grinding so much and basically killing my soul trying to get 15 to 20k. That's not 
how I want to live my life. And so this was an awakening experience and an eye-opening experience for me. So I'm realizing that that's not the route to go. So this is all a journey. And I know that we all have different monthly budgets and I used to only make, you know, 1,000, 2,000 a month. So I understand that this might be a little bit different, but I still need a budget. My b bills are high right now because I was so used to getting this much a month. I do have debt I want to pay off, but if you want to stay tuned to this channel to learn more about my career and how I'm budgeting and how I get to my goals, then definitely subscribe. After this resting period, I do need to get going because like I said, I have a lot of bills and debt going on. So um, I'm excited and thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video. Bye.